is with Arts West, and we are 11 artists showing here at the Landmark Gallery. Um, I'm also a member of the Semio Arts, and um, for October, we are showing all art. So come in and check it out. It would be uh, fun to, to show you all the art back. We have all kinds of different kind of art and media. Hi, I'm Gunilla K from Sweden originally and I came over when I was 24 for, from Sweden by myself and um, I had in, back home when I was growing up I've been doing collages and silversmithing and some weaving and then I, when I came here to Canada I uh, started with an airline business having been in hotel business so I learned a whole bunch of uh, languages and uh, which is what you do in Europe and that's very useful um, so that helped me when I was flying around the world and then I started with art more seriously when my husband died and he was the creative one to start with because he was an architect and very uh, involved in his own work so then uh, in 2008, I went back to university and uh, took my BFA, which is, uh, was very interesting because I learned a lot of different genre of medias and uh, that got me going. Where did you go to university? At uh, Kwantlen. Okay, nice. At Surrey. And because I was closer to where I lived. And uh, I had my first degree from, from Simon Fraser in languages. Hmm. So, um, I know something about going to school. <laughs> and it's very difficult during these times. Well, also it's foreign languages for me. Yeah. So, if anyone called me up in the middle of the night, they say, Oh, uh, how do you get out of this airplane? So, I'm just, every year we had to do our exams. And we had to rush out of doors and windows and we had to tell everybody to go. So I can still do that anytime. Yeah. It's really funny. <laughs> yes, my mom, uh, we had all art classes, but my mom had, um, she did silversmithing as an amateur and she did some really nice things and also weaving, so I learned from that. And we had to do collages as well, you know, paper collages, and that was fun. That's nice. Yeah, so I have background from it, yeah. And when you went into your BFA, how was that different from, you know, experience before? Well, then? it's a lot more uh, extensive, and you learn new things. I did sculpture and uh, more pottery, and I did, uh, well, you have to do drawing which was not so easy for me, but um, I like abstract art, and that's what I do. Uh, we are 11 artists here at the uh, Landmark Gallery, representing uh, Arts West, and uh, we also, I'm also a member of the semi Arts. Now, through uh, school, I did some, what I call, Art Without Borders, and this is representing footprints in the sand. And um, uh, I just like the colors and that you don't have to have a frame necessarily. This is another one of my pieces. It's fused glass and uh, just a whole bunch of pieces in a pleasing design, I think. And then I had it framed. In the beginning, I, with the fused glass, I didn't uh, frame with metal or wood, but I think that's more suitable for my kind of stuff, because then you can hang it up, or you can have it as bowls, or you can have it as platters, and uh, I like lots of colors. The photograph, I was done on a vacation in uh, Dominican Republic and I was walking down on the beach and saw these footprints and I thought this is cool, took a photograph and uh, they get distorted in the sand because they get dented into the sand. And then this is acrylic and I have layers upon layers upon layers and you see there's irregularities here. 
and that makes it more interesting, I find, because it adds dimension. And uh, then the colors, yeah, I don't use too much purple, but this is fun. Yeah. So um, it got cut out because that's what the um, other, what the photograph showed. Yeah, so that's why it's irregular, I guess. So these are fused glass that I call my Swedish roots because we have blue and yellow in our flag. And this is called the cherry blossoms. And uh, so it's sort of Japanese style. And this I had to do as a work um, project at school. And I call it the thinker. So, and that's just pretty colors. Yeah, so there's so much variety you do. And fused glass you put into um, the kiln. So you're not sure, it's like pottery, you're not sure what's gonna happen in the kiln. And sometimes it comes out very interesting. And the colors and shapes move around a little bit in the heat. Uh, stained glass is not in the, um, doesn't go through the kiln and neither, well of course, when you blow glass, it's awfully hot, it's about 3,000. Um, uh, degrees hot so you can't stand too close you have to have a long pipe and you you blow and it takes quite a lot of time and energy to learn how to do it properly uh, I was lucky when I came to Canada because I learned languages and I could practice them and I took some Japanese and that's why I have this I, they are famous for the cherry blossoms in springtime the Swedish one is background and I like colors like that and it's practical because it's a platter you can use it for for food or you can have it as just standing up being pretty so it's different things you can do with that um, languages and traveling has been my big passion and now art has become that big passion because there's so much flexibility so much fun um, I love the colors, makes me happy, makes me cheerful. So I do various things, I do that one as well. That's my acrylic. And you know, I like to layer things. So there are things that are not straight. And uh, I wanted it to be cheerful and lively and have some interest. So that's a little bit of red here, a little bit of orange. and. Uh, yeah, it, I, it could be called a jungle, or it could be called all kinds of things. And that's what I like about it. She has done stained glass. That's Marianne Jackson. So that's a different technique of glass. And I like fused glass more because I like to see what happens in the kiln. It flows around and it moves and all that stuff. So that's fun. So um, I've done some recent ones and I sold some lately here at the gallery and uh, they are uh, some of them are a little bit heavy and thick because I, I found later you should have it upside down and it flows down nicely <laughs> yeah so um, but I like some things like that there's different technique you can do you can make it um, flat or you can make it stand out get more dimensions so it depends on, um, I tried different things, yeah, to see. I've been at it for mm, about four years with the glass. And of course school was from 2008, so I've been at doing a lot of work in between. Creation, I go to nature and I look at, the, I'm out walking my dog every day. Uh, a couple of times and I listen to the sounds of the birds and I look at all the beautiful leaves and going around the park. So I like all these colors and of course I like blue but there are many other colors which are just great and um, yeah mix and match and have some fun and um, yeah so it's, it inspires me, it's very creative. 
Well, my advice for young people is find a board or find a canvas and just go with some paint. It doesn't have to be fancy paint to start with, but try it. And also research. Go and look at all the masters and people who you admire and then see if you can replicate it, copy it to start with, and then you get on to your own style because that's what's very creative. And then I think definitely we need more artists. It would be really fun to have. Um, and uh, the eldest lady in our group is 90 years old. That's Margaret, mm -hmm. who is talking there. And uh, we go to in their 20s, I guess. Um, it makes me happy and creative and I can reach out to people. It's a social thing too. So it has all the positives. I mean, sometimes you get a negative comment, but it's not really uh, that often. So it's a social thing. It's creative and I, I enjoy it. It has helped me because my, when my husband died, um, he left a big void and I filled it with art. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs>